Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How are you doing? Uh, I don't even know what the date is today. 9th, 10th, 11th, 15th. I don't know. <laughs> I just know it's November. <laughs> um, I have a few things to talk to you about. Some maybe not so nice. Sorry, I'm kind of a hot mess. Like, hair's like, yeah, doing its own thing. <laughs> um, yeah, and I got a few things to show you. And yeah, I have been going absolutely banana gonzo um, for the last few days. I have gotten... Do you remember me telling you that I made a hat and scarf and a um, pocket shawl for some friends of George's that are in Alberta, Canada, and that his football wife, <laughs> he loves the Seahawks. So I made him a Seahawks hat and scarf set. I'll put the picture here. So it went over like big and he absolutely loved it so guess what yeah he wants a set for the whole family yes he does <laughs> yeah <laughs> i found this out on sunday and uh, I promptly ran out of the house, went to Michael's and bought out everything they had in those colors. And then I got the yarn home and realized that the blue yarn that I had bought is not the blue yarn. <laughs> it's not the blue yarn that I used on his, but that's okay because, hey, uh, it'll work. Problem is now I don't think I have enough. So I got to, oh, that's what it was. Um... Tomorrow I have to call Michael's. They do their restocking apparently on Fridays and see if they have any more of the yarn I need. So, um, yeah, so I, <laughs> I have to make eight sets and the sets range from age one up to adult. <laughs> so I've got all of these little bags with um, hat and scarf sets. So, <clears throat> yeah. So I've been, I have put everything else on hold and I have been, um, doing this to get it done. He's already paid for it and it's like, so yeah, it's a reality. It's like, yeah, now I, I have to get it done because it's paid for. And he wants it all for Christmas. Um, I have lots of things I am in, trying to do right now. Like, uh, I'm trying to get the 25 days of Christmas packed up. I Oh, and I just got Rosalie's box already. Rosalie is one of the YouTubers that I'm doing the 25 days of Christmas with. She's already sent her box. Like, really? And she's already doing Christmas cards. Like, seriously? Oh, man, she's on the ball. So, <clears throat> so I've got her box sitting. Hopefully I don't lose it in this mountain of stuff I've got. Uh, and then Sandy from Left is Right Crochet is the other one that I'm doing the box, the 25 Days of Christmas with. So I am in the process of trying to get theirs finished. I've almost got them all. I got it all done, except I got this brainiac idea before I found out about this big, huge order I was supposed to do to for to make them something for the 25th day. I started making the what I was going to make for Sandy, which turned out that it's a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and then um, 
Yeah, and then I got this order. So my daughter's gift that I'm making her has been put on the side burner until I can get this done. I've got all the hats done. I'm halfway through. I'm, I'm making the last kid's um, scarf, and then I've got to make four scarves for the adults. So the ages are one, three, four, seven, and then two sets of adults. I should be drinking Carol Ann's in my coffee. Or something stronger. <laughs> mm, yeah. So I am going Seahawks crazy. And the funny thing is, I don't like the Seahawks. This is my for my my late husband's way of getting back at me. The Seahawks, I call them the Seahawks. Um, they were his all be all to end all football teams, right? I used to always bug him about it and going, yeah, shit hawks, you know, because I am a Giants fan. Um, and so, and then George is a Patriots. Uh, so, <laughs> so whenever um, Kevin and George watch, they've got this whole thing, right, where they're watching the football games and they've got something called DAZONE and it's a, a, um, a, a huge channel that you could flip from each game as it's, as it's going. So they sit there and they watch these games and they're phoning each other like every freaking play. I swear to God. And they're talking through this and the, there's a bit of a lag between what George is watching and what Kevin's watching. So it's, oh, it's just this thing. That's why we call him his football wife, because he talks to Kevin when it's football season. He talks to Kevin way more than he talks to me. And I'm sure it's the same with Kevin and his wife. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it's, it's just craziness. So anyways, um, because I've always kind of Seahawks, now I'm getting flooded with having to do this stuff with Seahawks colors. <sighs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm sure he's getting back at me. I'm sure of it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, this all came about when the veils between the spirit world and our world were parted in Halloween, like around Halloween. So this order came in right at that time. So I'm convinced that it was Scott came through and went, ha, here you go. <laughs> I don't ever want to see Seahawks colors again after this. No. Anyway, I'm seeing these colors in my sleep, I swear to God. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I have, so, oh, I guess I should tell you what I'm using for the Seahawks stuff, right? Uh, I'm using Charisma. And the color is dark blue, of course. And then I'm using Charisma in silver. Ah. And then I'm using uh, Loops and Threads Soft and Shiny, which I'm telling you, when you try to mix this with a bulky, it's a pain in the ass, I swear to God. Oh, this is citrus. This is the color I'm seeing in my sleep. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> okay, so that's that. Um, I don't know if I showed this to you. I don't think I did. But I went to Michael's um, last week, I think. And I just picked up a few things. I had to pick up 
I don't know what I had to pick up, why I had to pick that up. I think they were having a 25% off sale. That's what it was. So I picked up a few things, Charisma, of course, in different colors, but I also picked up the Eco Cozy. I, I don't know about this stuff. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's uh, loops and threads. Ah, it's a bulky five. And um, according to this, I think it's a hand wash, no dry. It's recycled polyester, 100% recycled polyester. F 145 yards, uh, 133 meters. This is steel gray. I don't think I like this. Um, I haven't worked with it yet, but the feel of it is definitely a polyester feel um you know the old style polyester that was really kind of eh, scratchy dicky um it reminds me of those fiber cloths that it's hard to touch um, that's just my opinion. You know, I'm sure it works up really nice. I have no idea how it would feel after it was wa <clears throat> washed. But I don't think I like this. So, I, of course, I got, and I really liked this color. Like, uh, this color is sage green. I really liked it. So, I don't know. And then I got a beige. I think I'm going to give it to a friend of mine. See if she wants it. Because I just, it's I, it's a texture thing for me. Um, if you've used it, let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Because it's, you know, I just don't, I don't know. It's just not my thing. Uh, I did get a my Hirschner's order in. Whoops, stay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Um Hirschner's was is always having stuff on clearance and whatnot. So I got this I got this stuff a while ago. I've got three Four, I've got probably six left. <sighs> Why I bought more, I don't know. I've got enough of it. <laughs> but it's the Stellar. Wait a minute. Let's see if I've got one out here. Yeah. Mm. No. <laughs> All right. I got to take it out of the bag anyway. Okay. So it's called Stellar. I love this stuff. Uh, but why did I get it in the same color that I got before? I don't know. Um, this is the Ecli Lunar Eclipse. I love this. It's so squishy. It's abs... I don't... Mm, no, I don't. I made... I think I made a hat and cowl set out of this. Um... Yeah, oh, and it's got sparklies. Do you see the sparklies in it? Ooh. Can you see the sparklies? Like, oh, here. Um, so I absolutely love this. But I got three, six, nine more of these. <laughs> like, really? Oh. And then I got the purple. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, you can totally, you can see the sparklies in that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous though? So I got nine of those. It's, <laughs> yeah, where I'm going to put it all, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can find, no, I don't know. <laughs> so I got, got a bunch of those. And then I got one. Why I got, why did I get one? Like seriously, I got a sweet roll frosty. I think I only got the one to see if I actually liked it. I've been looking at this stuff for quite a while and the ball isn't all that big, right? But there is, it's hundred percent acrylic. It's a medium four. Um, Where's the yardage? Oh, 245 yards. That's 224 meters. That's an awful lot to be in this little freaking cake. Like I was a bit surprised. Um, so I just wanted to try it out and see if I liked it before I bought more. Uh, but I just love these colors. I love these colors. This is... Ah. iced coffee that's why I like it because I love my iced coffee <laughs> okay so I just got one of those and then I got I've been I've been looking at these for a while as well these are the premier basic yarn packs uh, or the yarn pack, I should say. It, um, it was $17.99. And it came like this. The, um, let me open it. Hang on. Oh, Right off the bat, the first one I see, I'm going, mm, yeah, Laura from Mad Mimi, she would love this. So this is the Premier Basics. I love pre Premier Basics. I really do. It's one of my favorite Premier yarns. It's a medium four worsted, 359 yards, 328 meters. It's 100% acrylic. And this color is ember. Oh, it looks really red. It's not. It's it's orange. It's like really, it's like a burnt orange. There's lots of light coming in here. Like lots. Like, oh. <laughs> you can't even tell. Anyways, it's a really rusty burnt orange. And it's actually... <laughs> I'm not an orange person, but I actually really, it, I like this. It's really pretty. Of course, this is my absolute favorite color. This is a burgundy and it's again, it's darker there. Oh, maybe that'll work on this one. Why doesn't it work on this one? Anyway, so there's that one. And then there is Juniper. I love this color. I just, oh, it's so, so pretty. And then there's, whoops, this is Navy. I've gotten lots of this color before. Nutmeg. It's actually darker than this. It's, yeah, it's, it's a bit darker than this. Wow, there's so much light coming in here today. Holy smokes. <clears throat> and then this is Iran, Iran. So, yeah, so I got that and I, I was so excited about it. I may end up getting more, but oh, all of this stellar, holy smokes. I don't know what the heck I'm going to make with that. <laughs> I've got it like everywhere. 
where who knows it may end up some of it may end up being in the 25 days of Christmas you never know <clears throat> anyway <laughs> okay now that I have all of that done there is something I want to talk about and I'm this is where the sandy rage comes out and the you know the <laughs> So, um, yeah, I watched Jennifer, from, <clears throat> excuse me, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches today and uh, I am absolutely floored, gobsmacked, insert here, um, at how ignorant people can be she was talking about how she was doing the um the giveaway for was it a premier box no hershner's box anyway the bigger channels are getting these boxes um rose from rose lakes crochet got one and stuff like that and they've been doing these giveaway giveaways Jennifer's getting hate mail. Like, seriously? I just... It absolutely enrages me that Crystal from Bag of Day gets hate mail. You know, that Jennifer's constantly getting hate mail. You know, like, a bunch of channels are talking about this freaking hate mail that's coming in about giveaways i'm sorry excuse me who the hell do you think you got, you are whoever those people are I, I don't have much hate mail like i fair i don't think i've really had any because my subscribers are wonderful i love you all um but who the hell do people think they are you know i don't see them up on youtube putting their face in front of the whole world to be ridiculed and bullied, you know, like I, <sighs> Chevy Rell wouldn't put up with that crap, you know, like I just, I, I just, I, you know, I think that uh, it, it's happening more and more. And I think it's a lot of YouTubers probably aren't talking about it. They're probably just letting it roll off their back. And, you know, just being like, whatever, haters, hmm, whatever. Uh, but then there's a few of us that really voice it. Because we, we just, you know, Jennifer's got such a big heart. She's such a wonderful person. And so is Crystal from Bag o Day. Like, oh. And then people just, they find it, like, is it the election? Is it? the COVID? Is it like, what is it that is making people rage so much that they have to take it out on the nicest people? You know, like, I just don't understand it. There is no reason whatsoever that Jennifer should be getting hate mail for doing something nice. You know, it's like, like, oh, I just, it, it infuriates me. It really does. Because she has done so much for everyone, <clears throat> you know, and so has Crystal from Bag of Day. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers out there, me included, if you want to include me, that give a lot, you know, and we bust our asses to put content out. We bust our asses to keep everybody happy. But you know what? We can't make everybody happy, you know, especially if those people aren't happy to begin with. You know, if they're just hateful people that just want to bring everybody down with them, they're going to find a way to, you know, wiggle worm their way into our life and make us unhappy and miserable. And that is really sad. You know, we've got so much crap going on in our world right now. We don't need that. We don't need that. So we need to stop, stop this crap. You know, 
uh, it's going to get to the point where YouTubers just don't do giveaways anymore. We'll just end it because we just feel like we are being um, bullied and it's not fair. It's really not fair. Jennifer, I am so sorry that this is happening to you. Like it, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm just, I, I got to try and chalk it up to something because I just, it's making me crazy. Absolutely making me crazy. I mean, look at, look at Crystal. She stopped doing giveaways for a while because of all the hate. You know, it's like, I just, oh, I haven't been doing any giveaways. Not really. Um, not as many as I used to because I'm seeing what's going on. It's making people greedy. It's making people hateful. It's making people entitled. Um, <clears throat> and it's sad. Because doing giveaways, we've got such big hearts. It's like doing giveaways is, is part of us. It's like what we do. It's like we love doing it. It makes us happy. But not at the cost of someone attacking us. You know, um, yeah. I'm, I just, it, okay, I'm going to stop ranting. Because uh, it, it's just not good for me. It's not good for my mental health. So I am so sorry, Jennifer, like this shouldn't have happened to you again. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay. I mean, my stress level is like because of Christmas coming and trying to get this stuff out into the mail. And, um, oh, I talked to MedPro today. <clears throat> I am going in on Monday to be fitted for a CPAP. <laughs> I don't know whether to be happy or scared or what. I don't know. Because um, that is, it's a, it's a big thing. The night before last, George got up at like 4.30 in the morning because I was snoring. I don't snore. And I do this thing, it's like, poof. like I do that. Poof, poof. Um, and I think it's because of the sleep apnea. I don't normally snore, but the other night I, I noticed it myself. I actually woke myself up uh, a couple of times from it. And I know when my throat's kind of sore in the morning I, that I've been mouth breathing mouth breathing, mouth snoring, mouth, you know what I mean. <clears throat> um, so I have gotten to the point now where I think I really need to do something. I need to get this CPAP. So I, I called them and said, Hey, I've been waiting three weeks to hear from you guys. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to get fitted on Monday and then we're going to do a trial period or something, I guess, uh, for like a week or whatever. I don't know. They're going to call me tomorrow and give me all the deeds on that <clears throat> and um yeah so that's my life i've heard nothing but good things about the cpap uh everybody's been saying it's changed their life it's changed their husband's life um so i guess we'll find out i'm really hoping that it's going to be all okay uh, Sunshine LeClaire put out a video saying how excited she is that she's going to be getting the hook next. Uh, yes, sweetheart, you're getting the hook next. <laughs> it is on its way to you, as a matter of fact. Uh, so I can't wait to see her put out her video. The other hook is being sent to... Oh, no, not Whippy Chick. Um... Oh, come on, Sandy, really? Squishy. <laughs> Say it was squishy. Oh, my God. Uh, so it's being sent to her. So I'm just waiting to hear from her. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's exciting. What else? I, 
I keep telling you guys I'm going to get a tutorial out and everything keeps getting pushed back because I've got like all this stuff going on. I probably would have had it out by now if I hadn't got that big order. Excuses, excuses. Um, but it's reality, right? So I'm, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. I feel like I'm just working, 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 working and not getting anywhere. Does anybody else feel like that? Like I just, oh, I feel like I can't crochet fast enough. I've got, and now, you know, in October I was saying, oh, I got lots of time, no problem. And now it's November, the beginning of November, and I'm freaking out. I'm absolutely losing my mind because I'm going, oh, Christmas is around the corner. Oh, I don't, I've got all these things to do. And oh, so yeah, George had to talk me off the ledge because <laughs> I was just, I mean, having like a couple of things I had to do would have been fine. But to have eight sets of hat and scarf sets to do like now. And the fact that I have to mail it and get it there before Christmas. Like I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to manage my time. I have to get these 25 days of Christmas out into the mail soon. So that's, yeah, whatever. It'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yes, I can do this. Okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Uh, I know the election stuff down in the States is driving everybody mad. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a haul. I'm so sorry about that. But you guys calm down um it's all going to be okay you know the higher power things happen the way it's supposed to right <clears throat> and even if you guys don't like what's happening <laughs> i feel for you i really do so i'm with you i'm wrapping my arms around you guys i love you all and i will talk to you guys later 